Former Wayne County Executive Bob Picano wants a grand jury to decide if Attorney General Bill Schuette misused his state office for personal business. Picano is asking it to be done before the November election with Schuette running for governor. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is live in Dearborn with a story and the sharp reaction from Schuette. Why Picano? Why this action, Jim? Well, he's an attorney and he teaches law classes this after voters ended his political career four years ago. And he says he's doing this to get nonpartisan answers for voters. As Mr. Schutte has said himself, nobody's above the law. The revelations first surfaced in May that Attorney General Bill Schutte sold off $7 million of real estate he inherited from his family. And documents show six state employees were involved in four transactions between 2013 and 2017. Ficano is asking the Ingham County Court for an expedited investigation, a one-person grand jury, and he says there is probable cause. Really what this is is a nonpartisan review of the facts. If he didn't do anything, the judges are going to come to that conclusion. Schutte has called this a smear campaign after it was reported the people making the referral to the feds in Ingham County held a fundraiser for Gretchen Whitmer, a Democratic candidate for governor. Cano got booted out of office four years ago by voters after the seven investigators exposed corruption and waste in his administration, including the failed jail project. He's been out of the public limelight since until now. The limelight hasn't always been nice to Robert Picano. <laughs> well, right? let, I've had experience in the limelight and I was looking at it and a lot of people have been talking about it and I said, you know, there's a way to determine this. In a statement today, Schutte's Attorney General spokesperson says, Ficano's the last guy to be judging others. This is more politics, and this time coming from a Democrat who was run out of office by ethical problems, then soundly rejected by Wayne County voters at the ballot box. It's sad, but we expect these political games to continue. Now the next step is for the chief Ingham County judge up in Lansing to determine if this one-person grand jury process moves forward. We'll keep you posted. Live in Dearborn, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you. MSU